Hello YouTubers, I'm just going to show everybody how to make cost-effective hand sanitizers. Instead of running out to Costco and all your drugstores, uh, they're all sold out, and exposing yourself to, you know, all the germs out in the stores. This is something you can make with uh, items that you have at home. Um, and I'm going to just go through that really quickly, and I'll put a list of all the uh, materials that you would need to perform that. The one thing I'm using is a glass jar. The reason why I'm using glass is uh, if you're using plastic, it may absorb the alcohol and other items, and then you might not be able to use it for other items. The glass won't absorb it. You can always throw that in uh, into a dishwasher and, uh, and, and clean it afterwards. Uh, what you do is you gotta be, uh, look for 60% or more alcohol-based. And this one here is 70%, uh, you know, the minimum is 60. However, if you, you know, run into a dollar store and you cheap out, you're going to get this one, it's 50. That one will not work as well. What you can do is if you, you know, have a 50% bottle that are left at home, the, some stores have a 91%, you can mix them 50-50 and it will boost up the percentage. What I would suggest you do is just pour in one inch of the rubbing alcohol and with the alcohol your hands are going to dry out so what I've started doing is putting some baby lotion baby lotion you can use any lotion you like unscented organic whatever you prefer that's healthy this one here seems to be for babies so I figured it's gonna it should be healthy I just squeeze in some of that in there just to give it a little bit of uh, lotion, screw the lid on, mix her up, just make sure it's quite clean. Now the only thing that the lotion does is make it a little soft on your hands and your skin. I would not use this for your face, just use it for your hands. What I also bought is a hundred of these cotton pads. Now. You don't have to use that. You can use the square ones. You can use uh, cotton balls, whatever you prefer. And what you do is just throw them in the jar, like I'm doing here. Throw them in the jar. Put as much as you can in there. And then put them in your car. Keep at your desk, whichever you want. Mix it up. Just keep mixing it. And you'll see that all the pads will get soaked with the alcohol. And the good thing is you need a good sealing jar so the alcohol doesn't evaporate. There you go. And what you do is you sample one, and there you go. Just use it on your hands. After you've you know been out and you want to sanitize your hands, it's a quick way. Now I've, some pe I've seen people use the same concept with uh, a little squirt bottle, your choice. This is just my suggestion. You know, stay safe, everybody. Uh, you know, whatever you can do to minimize your uh, exposure uh, and to catch the, uh, you know, the coronavirus. Uh, this is not, you know, proven, but uh, what I'm saying is, is the best thing other than sanitizing. Most of the hand sanitizers you buy in the store don't even meet the, you know, 60% alcohol uh, requirements. So, uh, you know, this is a home remedy that you can do with uh, any of your, uh, you know, medical cabinet, medicine cabinet uh, items. And just like I mentioned, the things you need to be worried about is the percentage of alcohol. There are stores that carry a 90%. I would not, I would strongly avoid using that. That could be harmful to your hands. It may uh, burn them. Uh, but I've started using the lotion and I found that it's much more, uh, it doesn't dry your hands as much. Um, one of the things, you know, uh, you know, people get caught by with uh, getting even just a common cold is exposure to germs uh, in their cars. You know, they've been out, they've been to a retail store, uh, you know, they touch carts, they touch handles, they touch uh, uh, keys and, and so on. And they get in their car and, you know, everybody's going to confess this. They, you know, may pick their nose and that uh, your nose does have membranes, which you can transmit any of the virus into your nose and into your throat uh, and don't rub your eyes. 
And you know what? Everybody's guilty of this. They go through a drive through and buy, buy some French fries. And they're what are they doing? They're eating away uh, the French fries. So what I would suggest is after you walk into your car, keep a jar. You can make these. I bought this at the dollar store. It was like $1.25. So this jar will come handy. I keep one in my car, one at my desk. And as I, uh, you know, if I'm going to have a snack, I uh, will uh, clean my hands. So thank you, everybody, and uh, hopefully uh, you found this informative. Thank you very much.